hi! For today's video, we have a guest, which you've met in my blooper clips, but you, he has not been an official video before, so... This is my boyfriend. His name is Casey. We live together, and we've been dating for almost five years. Almost. And he's been there for most of the books I've read. Yes, a lot of them. And, and when she bought them, too. Yeah. yeah. So he does not know what this video is yet. I've been very nervous for like several weeks because I, I feel like it's going to be some sort of quiz or something and I'm not going to know any of the answers. So for this video, okay, I'm going to see if you can pick out my five favorite reads of this year. Oh gosh, I knew it was going to be this. <laughs> I knew it was going to be this. I don't know any titles. This is so a travesty. I'm going to point out where all my books are. This is a helpful hint, okay? Okay. So this bookcase I've read. Okay. And I've read the books down there. Okay. And then on my phone, I have the books I read as ebook and audiobook, since you don't have the visual reminder. Mm, okay. I also have a list where I've picked my five favorites, and I've picked five honorable mentions. Okay. So if you can get five of those ten, you've done good. So do you want to start by looking at the physical books, or do you want to look at the list? Can I have Can I have one hint? Can I have? Oh, one also hint? one more preface: The Hunger Games is not part of it. Ah, I was going to say <laughs> the Hunger Games were one through nine because you read the, the whole series twice, uh, three times this year. So that Yeah, no, been... I love the Hunger Games out because that's not fair to all the other books I read this year to have. All the books on the list are books I read for the first time this year. Okay, can I have the split between physical and books on the list? Because if not, I'm going to spend like an hour just okay. staring at the list. Okay. Is that fair? Okay. Is that fair as a hint? Okay. <sighs> I'm going to do so horribly on this. Okay, so two of the books of the ten are books on the list. Wait, so two out of the ten are on your phone? Yes. Okay, so they were ebooks that you read or an audiobook? Yes. Okay, but the other eight are physical. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this whole shelf is read. Mm -hmm. That shelf was read. Everything on that shelf was read this year, right? No. Oh. It's, you know how I, it's alphabetized, so whatever didn't fit at the bottom is now over there. And there are books I read this so year over there. All, okay, so all of my all of my guesses are going to be between these these two then. Well, I do want to point out I do have Cassandra Clare on the wall. And you did finish the new one that came out this year, right? I just don't remember how much you liked mm -hmm. that one. I feel like you tend to talk about books that are like you thought were a four. I talk Mo about favorites too. No, no, you do talk about, but I think you spend more time talking about books that you think are like a four and a half than like a five. Okay, if that some makes of sense. the books on my list are four and a half. Remember okay. the other day? Okay. When That's I was fair. like, the other yeah. day, I was like, can you like a book you rated four and a half more than you liked a book that's five stars? I, I said, said yes. Yes. I said yes. There's, there's plenty yeah. of movies that I like more than other movies that are objectively like way worse. Yeah. So some of my list is five stars, some are four and a half. Okay. There is like, a, I don't know how many, there's like five stars in the modern mentions and four and a halfs in the. Favorites. It would be weird if there was like a three star. There's not. Yeah, they're all on, on the list. I think they're all four and a half or higher. Yeah, they're all four and a half or higher. Okay. Can I ask you questions about books so I can try and remember which book is which? I guess it's a lot. Like, can I be like, oh, is this the one where this happens? Okay. Okay. Not also, like these are sitting here. How you felt about because it. these are the ones I display and I wanted to move them out of your way. You know, I yeah, have two copies of, you know, I have two copies of all I, these. If I remember, you read Once, of, Once Upon a Broken Heart. These are the Once Upon a, the UK ones that I normally have displayed. I have them just sitting here. So I have two Wait, but when did Once, what is the publication? I read all, oh, I'm not helping you, never mind. What was the publication date for this? Okay, that doesn't mean I read it the year. Okay, know. but if it. Also, please be careful, those are my pretty copies. Okay, we'll be very careful. Your grimy little fingers. My, I just washed my hands. Excuse you. If you look at the books he's read, there's like smears where his like sweaty fingers have like <laughs> smeared the text on them. Do, do you want me Wait, to... no, I have I have your Dance of Dragons. This right? one's not that bad, honestly. No, but like there's this probably smears in it. Yeah, so if you look at like the spine is like completely broken. I don't know. It might be too shiny. Like the pages are super yellowed. It's all like frayed. But there's like, um, sometimes you can't even read the... Actually, there's no smudges in this one. Yeah, this one's actually not that bad. This is in great condition. I think I've only read okay, this for copy you, like once. Yeah, for yeah. you, that's pretty good condition. <laughs> like all the pages, because I, I, I. No, I he reads books. In. He does this. It's that's why it bends so it well, because he hand. reads it like. This. I have, I have way worse examples. Okay, start 
picking books up. I think you were about to say that you read all of these this year, and I remember, I think I bought you Ballad of Never After. You did. For one of the presents I got you, because... No, it was just, I was like, I was trying not to buy books, and I was in a book That's... slump after reading Once Upon a Broken Heart, and so he got me Ballad of Never After as a surprise. Okay, yeah. then I think I'm going to go with Once Upon a Broken Heart, because if I remember correctly, you read it, and you really, really liked it, to the point where you kept talking about how you wanted to buy the second one, but you shouldn't. And then so I bought it for you. And then I think you didn't like the second one as much as the first one. I think. No comment. No comment. Okay, okay. So is that I'm going to lock in one answer as Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm going to pull that I feel like from the first one. Okay, I feel so like we'll that was pile a, here. I feel like that was a gimme. I talk about every single book I read to him. All of them. It's a He's, lot of books. Yeah. So, yeah. How many did I read this year? 102. Yeah, and he was there for most of them. So it's... That's I, whether he remembers the title or not. I do a surprisingly good job of remembering the books that you've talked about. It's just that, like, trying to pull it from the top of my head is, like, impossible. He's, he's like, oh, this is the book with this thing. And I'm like, what? And he describes it more. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's a way of talking about it. Oh, my God. Ember's just staring at us. This is going to be awful. I have to I have to move to the smaller. I have to move okay. to the smaller list. Go, go to the smaller list. Okay. I moved the cart out of your way. Don't sit on Bailey. Bailey, I'm going to move this chair back. Little, but... Careful of my curtains. There's more in the drawer, but I don't know if any I read this year are in the drawer. What? No, that's, you read that a, a long time ago. I think you liked the seven year slip, but was it top five? Was it top I five? I don't know, was it? I don't know. It might be an honorable mention. I think you I mean, I, I will let you put stuff in your pile and remove them later. I'll be nice. It's not Mistletoe or Mr. Right. It's not Enjoy the View. It's not The Last Wish, <laughs> that's for sure. Not The Last Song. <laughs> Not Lolita. <laughs> no. What is the bottom book in that pile? I don't know. I can't read it from here. Uh, the Crowns of Croswell, that middle grade book I read. Not this year. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's any of these. If anything, it's the, the uh, not the XX. Um, although, did you like that? I don't remember. I can't. Because you also read, what is the... Practical Magic, which for some reason I confuse them too. They're both about witches. Yeah, exactly. They're both like I read them the same love model. stories about witches, which makes it hard. There's another side over here, you know. There is? Yeah. Oh, God. I have a lot of books. Okay. Well, they're like hidden. That's cheating. Uh, but I flat out told you, hey, there's books over there. I have read some this year. Oh, so this is the other them. title for yeah. the Penguin book. The Roughest Draft, no. You just finished Powerless. Two days ago. So it's not your top five. You wouldn't put a book in your top five two days after finishing it. I don't know. You would. I, <laughs> I, I don't think you would. I've got like one guess so far. This is awful. Okay, but you haven't looked at the big bookcase yet, or the list on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna go by see if I see which see if I can remember which ones you read this year. Okay. And then go from there. As a reminder, I read what thirty three physical books this year. Thirty three physical books. You. It was. It's not. It's not to all the boys I loved before that you read for the first time. It's the other. No, I read those last year for the first time. Really? Last year? Mm -hmm. That was a year ago? It was last ago? December. Ugh. Is this fourth wing make the list? I don't know, does it? Uh, you know, I'm going to go with fourth wing because I think you gave that a four and a half. And I think that might be one of the four and a halves that you also bought like four copies of this. Book. I bought one copy and thought about buying a second copy. Which one? Was it the sequel that you bought like three copies of? No, one copy of the sequel. I have three copies of the third Once Upon a Broken Heart one. That's what it was. Well, that doesn't help me. Well, if you have three copies of the third one... Okay, but I bought all those before wait, I read wait. it. <laughs> Why would you... Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Because you bought one and it was shipping and you got like, yeah. a special edition and... Yeah. See, he listens. So I'm at two guesses right now, right? You didn't pull a second one. Oh. All right. Add it to your stack. This is a, this is a very um, tentative guess. All right. You can that's first on switch the it out. I have to find six more physical no. books from this year. You're picking five favorites. 
But I have a list of, I have five favorites and five that honorable mentions. Can you get five of the 10? Oh, but that doesn't help me because I don't know if the two digital ones are in the honorable mentions or on the main list. Mm-hmm. All right, give me the give me the okay. digital list. That's where most of them were this year, anyways. Yeah. There's a max of two out of here. Oh god, it's so I'm gonna hmm. I'm gonna assume that no audio books made it in the top top five. I won't answer that. Hmm. Uh, was Divine Rivals the other like romanticy series that you really liked this year? Maybe. See, I'm leaning towards romanticy books because you have now been talking about how you want to read more fantasy because of these books. So that like that like puts them onto my list. You know what I mean? But I feel like if you liked Divine Rivals that much, you would have gotten it physical. Have you looked up the bookcase? Do you have it physical? It's alphabetized. Oh, gosh. Last name is Ross. There are books that I read ebooks or audiobooks of and then buy. Am I, am I blind? Yes. Oh, Divine Rivals right there. You did buy it physical after you read it digital, which means you liked it a lot. So Divine Rivals is also on the list. We'll see. I lost it again immediately. Okay, you have three. Do I need to remind you my two favorite genres to read? Yeah, no, I know. I've, well, that's. I feel like one of these at least isn't making the cut, or at least one or two of these at least is just is like an um, honorable mention at best, because I think three romanticy in your top five is a stretch. I don't think that's accurate. I just can't remember which romance and which mysteries. Also, not to be rude, the titles blend together. They're all, the titles are very similar. It, it, <laughs> so confusing. <sighs> no, good guys, a good girl's guide to murder wasn't this year. Not for the first time. I don't think I reread no. that this year, actually. I don't even know if that would make your top five. You really like that book, right? Yeah, I've read it like yeah. three times. Just not this year. Oh, sorry, Bailey. Did I hate your little noggin? Oh, it was... Ow. Did you read this this year, or did just the show come out this year, and that's why I'm thinking of it? The movie came out this year. The movie, not and the show. And we watched it. What month did the movie come out? August? July, uh, either July or August. I think you read this like near the beginning of this year. And I can't remember if I have strong memories of it because you talked about how much you liked it because you did really like this book. But also, I don't remember if I'm just extra remembering it because we watched the movie. Does that make sense? I'm not helping. I feel like it's maybe safe for like an honorable mention. I don't know if it's actually top five though. There's at least one mystery that you read this year that's on the list and I can't think of the name of it. Cause there was the one where they were on the bus and they were getting shot at. Mm -hmm. You didn't like that one that much. You thought it was okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not that one, which I don't even remember the name of the title of, so. You got the plot, though. That's what I'm saying. That's what makes this very hard, is that I just remember the plots. So if you start talking about them, I remember the plots, like, mm -hmm. better. But I just can't, like, pull them from the top of my head. One of Us is Lying. That was the school one that you thought was kind of dumb, right? I don't know if we're calling different. it dumb. Uh, not it's, dumb. It's just... the one that's kind of like Pretty Little Liars and Breakfast Club. Yeah, you just, like, I think you really got, like, annoyed by the characters because they're, like, dumb teenagers. You know what I mean? I don't know, I read that one in January. <laughs> okay, well, it's probably not that one then. You read Lost Apothecary this year. Did I? I'm pretty sure you did. Maybe you didn't. <sighs> did you read, did you read Love Hypothesis this year? Did I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We've been together for like five years now, so it's like you could have read it this year or you could have read it like four years ago, and I just don't remember. Isn't that the one that was like a Star Wars fan fiction yes. originally? 
But you really liked it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I I originally borrowed that from someone and then bought my own copy. What was that this year? What year did this book come out? <laughs> no, because she has she came out with another one this year that you didn't like as much. That was another like STEM romance. That's like all she's written so far that I've read. I've only read her STEM romance. I have to put the publication date for this thing. 2021. Okay, that does help a little. So it's only been out for a couple of years. Did you like it that much, though? Did you <laughs> like it that much, though? Or was it even this year? I'm trying to remember if you read this here or at the townhouse. I don't know. Well, you you do know. I you know. Won't tell me. Yeah, I won't tell you though. I can't think of any other better guesses, so I'm going with it. But this is not, I'm not locked in. You're not done. Okay. I'm not locked in. You're still looking. I need to replace one of these with some mystery book. Okay. I haven't read that many thrillers or mysteries this year, unfortunately. And I, yeah, I know. That's what makes it hard because there isn't like a whole lot of them. I can't remember but which ones you read hint? this year. I'll take a hint, sure. There is a thriller in the top five. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I knew <laughs> there was going to be a thriller in the top five. I just only one. Don't know which one. Which romancy gets cut? I think. Once upon a broken heart stays. Okay. Either fourth ring, fourth wing, or divine rivals gets cut. Okay. Has divine rivals had a sequel yet? It came out the day after Christmas. I haven't read it yet. It's sitting right here. Hmm. Then I think I'm gonna go with divine rivals over fourth wing. Okay. I don't really have sound reasoning behind that. I just think that there hasn't been a chance for a bad sequel yet. Well, there has been, but you haven't had a chance to read a potentially bad sequel yet. So I think that strengthens my odds. I don't, you, you don't want me Bottom to Bottom shelf, it, right? right next to Iron Flame. You know, uh, the that, you know, <laughs> that would make sense. It's not then she was gone. <laughs> Thought that would work. Daisy Darker is the one with the grandma. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I nailed that. I did great. You did. Yeah. And the like porch or whatever at the house. There was a scene. No. There was a scene you described that involved the porch and like a kitchen or something. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I remember you talking a lot about Daisy Darker, but I don't remember if it was positive or negative. I just remember you talked about it a lot. But I think you gave it like a four, didn't you? <laughs> this is fun. For you. <laughs> Maybe I'll actually watch this video. No, I won't. If I'm in it, I'm definitely not watching it. <laughs> Okay, well, Daisy Darker is like my tentative pick right now, only because I remember you talking about it a lot. Was that even this year? Was it? Oh my god. This is unfair. You know I can't do time. See, this is why I didn't tell you what this video was about beforehand, because then you would have, like, gotten help. Yeah, we just, <laughs> well, I would have just, like, watched your video. Okay, but the videos over, only like, go back... Notes until august yeah but i'm sure if it's a top five book you've mentioned it in one of your videos it would be weird if you made like that many videos without mentioning mentioning some of your top five books <sighs> this is a long shot it's not the right answer but i can't <laughs> i can't think of anything else i'm gonna lock in that as my five this is your five I, i'm very not confident about this list at all okay do we go over the ones you got right or the ones you got wrong first let's go right let's start on a high note all right so let me look at my list because i don't remember Okay, can I look at it first and change the answers? No. So that, okay, that's fair. Okay, so. Of my five favorite. I got, if I got two, I'm happy. One. Damn. <laughs> How many honorable mentions though? Okay, so. Oh, no. 
Zero. What? It was one you took out. Okay. So. It was fourth wing. Fourth wing was was on the list. Okay. <laughs> so of. You didn't do good. Oh, you didn't do good. Okay. No, I didn't. Do <laughs> I know. I knew it was going to okay, be awful. Okay, so... How, wait, first let me ask. How many books did I choose that you didn't read this year? Of this? Yeah. Okay. So you were... Okay, he was so close. Okay. On... Okay, so... I read this in 2021. I reread it this year for the movie. That's why. Ah. It's still only a three and a half, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This you was, just talked about it a lot. Yeah, because yeah. I compared it... Well, because it's like, I liked it, but then I read it again, and then I just couldn't, and yeah. the movie, and okay. I'm gonna do this one first. Okay. I read this in 2021, yeah, and I that read was, that was two of her other books this year. And you didn't like them as much. And the second, okay, Love on the Brain, I didn't like as much. Love Theoretically, yeah. five stars. That's five stars. one of my five that was favorite. It. <sighs> yeah, I don't own that one, though. Okay, I remember. But that was on the list I gave I you. I remembered I somewhere. even cheated to help you, because I read that physically, but I put it under the ebook list, because I don't own it, so you could see it on the list. Wait, you read it physically, but you don't. It's the person it. I sent book I annotated for that person. Oh, that makes sense. So I put that it on the list sense. so you could see it. That okay. makes sense. So well, to right be fair, I just remember you had talked a lot about I did. a some STEM romance this year, and they have very the the even like within like like saying that a lot of like romance stuff. It's like in the a same, series the by things. the author that has yeah. like the same title structure. Yeah. No, you were close because yeah. it's the author. Yeah. I'm counting that as a half point. Sure. Okay. I read this one last year. Yeah, I knew. And you, you, I, four yeah. and a half. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cool. okay. In my top five was one of the books by her I read this I year. I knew that. I knew <laughs> the na- No, that's I met. So this was on the list, right? That's top five. Okay. So what happened is I was looking through, and I saw Alice Feeney, mm-hmm. and I was like, I there's know. There's three Alice Feeney. I know. I was like, I know. There's an Alice Feeney book in her top five, and I remember you talking about Daisy Darker a lot. So I was like. It's got to be Daisy the Darker. There's that's the Alice Feeney book that I <laughs> that I remember the strongest. Well, that's the one that made me like her. So this is one of yeah. the first books I read this year. Remember, I was like finishing it on the couch, and you came out, and I was just sitting with my mouth hanging open because I was so blown away by the plot twist. What happened in that one again? But yeah, okay. So that was on. Not sure. Wait, leave it out. Yeah, we'll leave it out. Okay. So that was top five. Love the Road. He was top five. Fourth Wing was top five. I read these two this year, so this one's top uh, five because right. I like that one. You know, more. you even gave me that hint at the start, and then I forgot about those being yeah. up there. Yeah, so I said these are up here. I read them both as ebooks this year, but obviously I owned yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And this is the one I just finished yesterday. Okay. But I like that one better. Yeah, yeah. And then. Well, I figured ones that you had finished most recently probably wouldn't make top five because I feel like there needs to be a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Like if you read something and then the next day put it in your top five books of the year, you. Probably, okay, but that's my favorite author, so I could that, have done that. that. However, that I decided sense. the second one was my favorite. Yeah. Okay, the fifth one, top five, Practice Makes Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's it's the very one little. With, that's the one with the bodyguard. Yeah, plot, from right? the first yeah. book, but yeah. then he dates the girl that likes books yeah. and flowers. What I was, that's what I was, I remember the question I was going to ask, so I was like, I know there was a romance series that you read where it was a sequel book where the first book was like their friends or something like that. Yeah, and that's a all romance book. series. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that doesn't yeah. help me. Yeah. But yeah, so so those are top five. And then in my honorable mentions, I actually originally had Divine Rivals. I took it out from everything. <laughs> from you had but you did have it in there. Yeah. You did have but then it. I but then I had to like like decide, okay, the second one, not the first one. <sighs> Cause I ended up liking the second one a lot more than the first one. Was it the third one? The third one was such a letdown. Okay, that's okay. I knew I knew you were let down <laughs> by a book in this series. I just didn't remember which one it was. Okay, so that's a no, but this this is it. Okay. Well, I guess that's technically not top five. Okay. I'm counting that as a half point too. Yeah. Okay. So that's two half points. So that's one point. Okay. Other honorable mentions are okay. Happy Place. Yeah, I was thinking about picking that one. I just didn't remember. Okay. Happy Place is one. Seven Year Slip was honorable mention. Okay. And you're going to hate this. Was it the one that you finished a couple of days ago? Yes. Okay, in my defense, <laughs> she's finished like six books in like the last two or three weeks. It's been hard to keep okay. up with the plots of them all. Okay, so let me let me just put them all together. Let me make it organized. Do you think you can guess my top two of the year? Not at all. 
Yeah, no, she doesn't. She probably can name one book that I've read this year, and it's Red Rising, and it's because she read it too. Top five were Parks and Makes Perfect, Chain of Iron, Fourth Wing, Rock Paper Scissors, and Love Theoretically, which I don't own. Okay. And then honorable mentions were Powerless, Seven Year Slip, Happy Place, Bowed Never After, and The Bodyguard, which I don't own, which is an ebook. Okay. So, my ratings for these books this was five stars. I typically don't rate her books, so they just. She's my favorite okay. author. It's yeah, hard to rate. Sense. Four biased. and a half, five stars, and then the other three was five stars. Of the honorable mentions, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, and the bodyguard was five stars. Oh, okay, okay. So you picked. <laughs> so those are the five you picked. But I want to point out. I want to point out. <laughs> I want to point out. Ready? Okay. So book in the same series as one of the top five. Uh huh. Book by the same author as one of the top five, or no? Yes. Yeah, one of the top five. Book is the same author as that, an honorable mention. No, this was top five. This one was honorable mention. This was top five. This was honorable mention. No. Oh my god. Okay, so what he's saying is same author had a top five. Mm -hmm. Same author had a top five. Same series had an honorable mention. And Divine Rivals was on the top ten and got cut. Yes. And in the process. And then to be fair, I did reread this book this year and I talked about it a lot. She has talked about this book. So However, much. it's only well because it's like adaptations. I know, I know, I know. But I'm well, saying no, here's the thing about the <laughs> I've talked about this book before. I think they're so cute together, but I don't like politics and I don't like history, <laughs> and so I can't love the book because I don't like those things. But he likes those things. Well, yeah, so that's how she, well, I would watch the movie regardless, but that's how she was like, oh, yeah, there's, like, banter about, like, politics and history stuff. You'd like it. And I was like, sure, I'll watch it. And they watch it, and then we got to the end of the movie, and she's like, yeah, they cut all that out. They, they cut, cut all of they it They cut out. out so much politics and all of the history banter. They just cut all of it out of the movie, and I was like, they cut out of everything you would have liked. <laughs> that was, so, it was fine. It was um, a fine movie. So I think this goes to show that he does listen. I just... Because he was close. I'm just really bad at remembering actual titles and that that sort of ruined me because i would look at a book and say oh i remember her talking about that i remember her talking about this thing but i don't remember which book it is between these ones because you know like they're by the same author or they're in the same series or they have very similar plots so it's hard to remember which is which and which one you actually liked. He's been here for most of the books i've read because i credit him to getting me back into reading which is funny because i like I, I do read. Well, I it read. was more like because you make me feel safe and loved. So um, I like felt comfortable to read what I wanted to read. And it got me back into reading. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. So I read most of that bookcase. Most of all the books that I've read that I own are books I've read since we've been dating. Because I got I'm all the books I read as a teenager in like middle school are boxed up. So it's only pretty much only books we've read. That whole I've read since I've been dating you. That whole bookcase. Yeah. Just for, uh, have you talked about the reading contest? No, I was waiting. Okay. 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 So. Okay. We have a reading contest we do every year. That was his idea. And it's based off a point system. So every five hours of an audiobook is one point, And every 100 pages of a, like a physical book or ebook is one point. And every year, he is so sure he's going to win. And who wins every year? I'm going to win next year. Mark my okay. words. I'm Where's winning next show? year. Okay. So. First of all, how many books have you read this year? Uh, stop keeping track. It's like 20. He's read like 20 books this year. Do you remember how many points that is roughly? Okay. So I read 102 this year, as we've stated. Oh my God. I haven't done the math to add it all up yet. Pull out your phone. Oh my gosh. Did you bring your phone? I didn't bring my phone. I was trying to be a courteous guest. I didn't want any interruptions. We needed my phone for the video. That's fair. Are you going month by month? No, the, it's uh, round by round. Oh, okay. Around is two months. Yeah. So I think I've got like like 40 or 50 points. He Okay, from, he reads a very long like books. 50 points. Which is why we do it based off like length and not number of so books. Every, because like a lot of the audiobooks I listen to are like 10 hours because they're like YA. His audiobooks are like 40 or 50 hours. Not all of them. I do read some, like some of the nonfiction that I read is a lot shorter. Okay, so how many points do you think you have for the reading contest? I'm going to round up and say 60, but that's generous. Okay, I have 250 points. Yeah. I will say, though, for, for point of comparison, so I did not good this year, not great, but I was, like, in the ballpark of guesses for this year. Okay. Name one book that I've read this year 
that isn't a book you also read? You read some of the Expanse books this year. Okay, that's name something that isn't the Expanse, which I, is the main series that I've talked about a lot that you have not also read. You read a bunch of boring nonfiction. I don't know uh, what they're called. What about the one about the bat poop? The one. <laughs> I'll count it. I'll count it. That's that's how to hide an empire. That's such yeah. a long boring title. It's it's uh, you a read, great. Did book. you ever finish the first Ranger of Princess reread? Yeah, I'm on like book four or five. Ian, you read that new fantasy trilogy thing. I forgot what they're called. The first Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. Very good. Yeah. Okay. I'll count it. I'll count it. I also don't know any titles of the books. Yeah. Well, I know a couple, like Fourth Wing I knew, Divine Rivals I knew. Those two are the ones that I knew. <laughs> yeah, you, you I I mean, I think it shows you listen, you just can't. I've definitely done it better all. before. I've definitely done better. Well, because I'll like, you know, after work I'll talk about like what I listened to that day or whatever, whatever. And I'm like, you know the book where this, this, this. And he like he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, usually. Any final thoughts? Um I think final thoughts is I'm going to win the competition next year for sure. No. Um, and I'm calling my shot now. I'm going to win the competition and I'm going to get, I'm going to get five out of five for next year's guess. Yes. You're going to take notes this year. Because I will cheat. Yes. I will win because I will cheat on the, on this thing, not in the, not in the competition. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying not on you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no that, that, not that either, but yeah, I will, I will cheat to win this competition for sure. Okay. Is that it? I think so. I think so. Okay. But I think we... we No, actually, because you, you guessed a couple of the series that I read, so I think you won that, too. I'm like 0 for 2 this year. 0 for 3. It's not great. Okay. So, <laughs> we can also thank Casey for helping me with lighting and setting up my yeah, camera for every video. I'm looking at it right now. It might be a little bit too bright right now. I'm kind it's because it's dark outside now. Yeah, that's true. I didn't fix it. I didn't fix what? Well, because we started... I was like, oh yeah yeah i probably should have lowered it so that's fine she can fix it in editing she'll make me I look can't. great she'll i'm so great. bad at editing <laughs> okay it's not what i have my degree in. all right okay do i do i need to be here for the outro what do i do, do I, I don't like, know do I, I like don't forget i don't to really, read books to read books i would say like to subscribe or something but... i never ask for people to subscribe or like I will. If you want to, you can, but you I am not going to ask. I'll find you. He is the one person that likes all my videos. I'm threatening you. You will be the second person. This is an explicit <laughs> threat. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and um, watch more? Yes. Yeah, all of them. There's <laughs> How many videos do you have now? I don't know. You haven't watched them all. I've watched most of them. Okay, most of them. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay bye <laughs> okay it's going now okay so i should stop talking now yeah okay all right i'll do that okay i hate when you're there okay why do you normally intro it i don't you watch all my video well you watch most of my videos hey i i just i've like two behind mm -hmm. one behind okay i hate this okay hot <laughs> let's just walk on now Daisy Darker, that's the one where she's... Okay, can you rephrase that where you're not giving away the plot twist of the book and the video? Let me give you a good frame here where I'm like... And mm -hmm. so do you want to hold the stack or the single book? I'm, I'm doing YouTube face, hold on. What's the YouTube face? I don't, I don't know. I don't make YouTube... You're the one who... You're supposed to know the YouTube face. I have uh. like 30 subscribers. What do I know? Okay. What else? Um... That's not a good one. That's not. that's not a pose. Like, that's not very good either. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna bring. Are we gonna use one of those? Down. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure there's probably something good in there. Okay. That's it. Bailey would have guessed better. Oh, he has read every single book with me. Yes, Bailey would have guessed much better. Oh, he's like, what life is this? Okay. <laughs> Bailey, you. Would... Goodbye. <laughs>